Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the NIV Cultural Background Study Bible. This one is in the large print. So we've got Bringing to Life the Ancient World of Scripture. So it comes in a nice clamshell box with nice images on each side of it. Then on the back here we've got Context Changes Everything. And I absolutely agree. You've heard many Bible stories hundreds of times, but how many behind the scenes details are you missing? A little context is all you need to discover the rich meaning behind the stories of Scripture. So I absolutely agree. So I just want to point out a couple of these features because we're going to see all of these on the inside. So we're going to have over 300 in-depth articles on key contextual topics, 375 full-color photos, illustrations, and images from around the world, dozens of charts, maps, and diagrams in vivid color. This one is going to be in the brown and tan leather soft. Here's our ISBN number. Retail is $99.99. You can find it for less online. There's lots of different cover options. You can also get this particular study Bible in the NRSV as well as the NKJV. So there is something for everybody. This one here measures out at 10 and 5 8 inches tall, 7 and 3 8 inches wide, and it is 2 inches thick. So kind of a large Bible. Got brown head and tail bands, just one ribbon. I would love to see them add more ribbons, especially in a thick study Bible. Maybe like three of the wider ribbons in there would be perfect. Got nicely done gold gilding. This one is thumb indexed with the black with the gold. So I do like thumb indexing. I tend to scratch my gilding less when it's indexed. So we've got our brown and tan. So we can see that we've got the little corners which match the brown that is on the front that also wraps around the spine and then to the back. And then we've got our tan section, which does have a nice pattern on it, so nice design. We've got our stitching there, so it looks really nice. This section, I don't feel at all like I'm going to scratch that. This section I am a little more careful with because this does scratch a little bit easier. As we can see right up here, I've already scuffed it. On our spine we've got NIV Cultural Background Study Bible, New International Version, NIV and Zondervan and then another little scuff so if you get one and it's this leather soft it is very smooth if you have nails it's going to be a little bit easier to scratch so on the inside we're going to have a paper paste down liner we've got our presentation page nice full color title page then we're going to have a quick start guide. So anytime you get a new study Bible, you really do need to pay attention to the first few pages. Because it's going to say, you know, like what help do these study features offer? It's going to offer information about this particular study Bible. So you definitely want to check out those pages. We've got our table of contents. So this page here, we've seen how many charts and different things it mentioned. This whole page right here is all the charts. This page is going to be the maps, and that's just the in-text ones. Then we've got an author introduction. So these are nice pages to read. Then we've got all our acknowledgments and about the authors. So a lot of different people worked on this. So if you want just a quick shot of some of the commentary for the Old Testament. But a really neat Bible. I really like how the pages are kind of have that sepia tone and kind of around the edges are made to look old. I like that. We're going to have a preface. And then it's got all the Hebrew to English information on there. So that's going to be several pages. One thing we can see right here in the gutter is the stitching, so nice sewn binding. So that is very important, especially in a big, thick study Bible like this, that it be sewn. All right, then we're going to get into the ancient text relating to the Old Testament. So this is really neat because it'll give you the title, the origin, and the description. So like here, we've got the Dead Sea Scrolls, tells us they're in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, 3rd century BC to 1st century AD. Several hundred scrolls and fragments include the oldest copies of Old Testament books and passages. So all of these pages are really neat. I like that they've got actual photos. So really neat. And then we get into our Old Testament chronology, starting with creation, fall, the flood, and Babel. And then as time goes on, we're going to have more and more throughout there. But they did a really nice job with all of the colors in this. So as we can see there on the bottom... 
So we can see that it's getting more and more as we go on through there. So really a nice chronology. Then we'll get into the Old Testament, nice full color, really pretty picture. Nice article here on there. And then we get into the Torah. So again, a really pretty picture. Introduction to the Torah. And then we've got Genesis. So we'll have the date and author, literary setting. And then we get into the biblical text. So we're going to have a two column format with our center column references. So we can see up here on the top and then we've got our study notes. We can see that they are separated here with a dotted line. So you know your biblical text is up top, your notes, and then any of the articles and other information is going to be down along the bottom. Now this one is going to have a 10 point font. So that is what really attracted me to this particular edition is the font size. So really nice readable font. The notes are even really readable. So they just did a great job with making everything in this one readable. The center column references, those are nice and readable. So if you want a study Bible that you can see and be able to read, I would definitely recommend this one here. I love how on all the pages with the, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but it kind of has just a sepia tone, kind of just making it look old, which I really like. Each section's gonna have the chapter numbers and everything within the same color of that section. So we'll see as we get further on that we're gonna have different colors throughout here as well. So lots of small articles throughout here. They're not too big to where it's distracting to pause and read them. So I do really like the way that they did that. So we're going to have lots of charts. So we've got one on the major covenants in the Old Testament. We've got an in-text map, a chronology of the patriarchs, Hebrew calendar and selected events. So these I'm going to kind of flip through kind of quickly because I don't want this video to be too terribly long. We've got an article on the tabernacle and then an artist recreation. And then also the tabernacle furnishings. So that is really neat. We've got the encampment of the tribes of Israel and how that was all laid out. And all of this is within the area of scripture where you're going to be reading about that. So that makes it really nice. We've got ancient Near Eastern treaties. So nice two page spread there. We're going to have tons of actual images and actual photographs of places, which I think that's just so, so neat. So it kind of is like having a archeological study Bible kind of within this. So nice full page map. Really nice and clear. So on here, we've got a little bit slightly different shade of green now that we're getting in here. So we've got David's family tree, an anointing horn found at Megiddo. So that's like circa 14th century BC. So that is pretty neat. Just tons of awesome information in here. And again, multiple translations. So if you like what you're seeing, but you don't want the NIV, get it in the New King James or the NRSV. We've got our temple furnishings, a recreation on Solomon's temple with an article on the architecture of it. We've got an artist rendition of Elijah's ascent. So that is really neat to be able to see that. Kind of just helps you to visualize a lot of these things. We've got a nice chronology of kings that goes all the way across both of those pages. All of our dates along the bottom. So we've got Beth Shan. So that's going to be where they put Saul's armor in the temple of their gods. So really cool to have a nice actual photograph. So it's just so fascinating to me to see the actual places. And it looks like I keep skipping these and I don't know how I'm doing that. All right, so this page is nice because we've got uh, multiple maps on both pages. So you're gonna get a lot of this. We've got an actual photo of Hezekiah's tunnel along with the article of that. But just 
excellent, excellent information in this. If you don't have one of these study Bibles, I would definitely recommend getting one in just whatever translation you prefer. So that one's a neat one of artist rendition of Israel's cosmic geography. I thought that was kind of neat. Boy, I just kind of keep skipping these and it's just these little papers are kind of thin. So that one's really neat, a temple at Luxor with the two sets of seven pillars. All of these ancient ruins, I just, I'm so fascinated by those. We've got character traits in Proverbs. So traits to be promoted and traits to be avoided. So that's really neat. So we've got like peacefulness over on this side, self-deceit on the other. So nice chart on there. Then we've got some ruins at Babylon. And each page, when you get into the, the book, you're going to have a nice introduction. But just really neat to see all of these different things that you're going to find all throughout this Bible. And this is just some of it that we're seeing. So we get to the end of Malachi. We're going to get into the time between the Testaments. So Palestine of the Maccabees and the Hasmonean dynasty, nice map on that. Goes over that period. We'll have information on the literature and social development. We've got a nice timeline on from Malachi to Christ. Then we've got our New Testament terms. So a bunch of key terms. So that's going to be a few pages. And then we're going to get into our New Testament chronology. And then again, I just love the way that they do these first pages. And I love this particular image. I just, I think that is so pretty. Just very peaceful and calming, I think. And that was just one page that I think I must have missed unsticking. Because I did have to unstick all the pages on this one. A lot of times in a full color study Bible, you do have to unstick the pages. So this one, you would definitely have to unstick them. But just go slow. Take your time. So we've got a chart on the Jewish sects. So we've got the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Zealots. Then we're going to get back into... The New Testament here, we can see the red letter, which I do have a page marked for that. So I've got a nice two-page spread on the Passion Week. We've got an article and an image on the Shroud of Turin controversy. So that's pretty fascinating. And then different archaeological finds relating to the New Testament. So we've got photographs of actual places like this one on Masada. And that is just so neat to be able to see these places. And it's fascinating that they were able to do all of this clear back when they just didn't have the tools like what we do now. So we're going to get you a shot of the red letter. This is a big Bible to pick up and get close to the camera. But there is a shade of our red letter. So nice shade of red. So easy to read. It's not too bright. So that I really like. We'll get into our ribbon so we've got again just the one ribbon it is a thinner ribbon just single satin and then I don't know if the camera's picking it up but we do see some more stitching in there so nice on binding but I just I really like the print size in this it is just nice to read from so here's a shot where I would mentioned the different colors in different sections of the Bible so that's kind of like a Kind of like a burnt orange type of color. We'll get into the back of the Bible. So we get back to the end of Revelation. We can see that it is red letter all the way to the end. Then we're going to get into the table of the weights and measures. We'll have an index to all the articles in canonical order. So that'll be a few pages. So lots of articles you can see just right there. Then we'll have a list in alphabetical order. So if you kind of remember what it was, then it's easy to go back here and find where it's at. But tons of articles. So again, from the box, there's over 300 articles. So just loaded with information. We're going to get into our concordance. So it is a 54-page concordance. So we've got the words in bold, and they're kind of in a like a 
bluish purple color almost on the word. So three column format. We're going to have 54 pages. Then we'll get back to our index of the maps. And this is still nice and readable on there, which is nice. And then we'll get into our maps. We're going to have 14 maps. They are full color. One thing you can see is they're on Bible paper. So a lot of people really, really like that. So a nice two page spread. So really pretty maps, very clear, easy to read. Get you a close up there. But to have this, all this awesome information in a Bible with a nice large print, I just love it. So again, 14 maps on Bible paper, which a lot of people will like. And then we just get to the end of the Bible. But tons of information in this one. If you don't have a cultural background study Bible, I would definitely recommend one. Again, it comes in three different translations. This one happens to be the NIV in the large print. There is the ISBN number. I will link it in the description box. But awesome, awesome Bible. I have been using this one for a while now, and I absolutely love it. And I would like to thank Zondervan for sending out this edition for review to share with all of you guys. But awesome, awesome Bible. Definitely look at getting one in whatever translation you prefer. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.